Hey, how you guys doing today? This is Captain Tim, the owner of Get Hook Magic Bait. So I get this question a lot, you know, about how to do a, a Texas rig and why you want to do a, a Texas rig. Texas rigging is uh, sweeping all over the nation. It's a great weedless lure that you can kind of uh, throw in uh, shallow waters. Um, you can also swim those uh, baits, a Texas rig, you know, using flukes and other types of things, you know, uh, when the baits are feeding. Um, typically, uh, Texas rigs are, are uh, you can go weightless or with the weight. Uh, if you do go weight, like 1 16th, uh, 1 32nd, um, 1 8th, and a, and a quarter is typically going to be your, your main ones for Texas rigging. There's a different styles of Texas rig. You always want to have the bullet head facing up and the flat bottom on the, on the downside. What you're looking at here is our brand new Texas rig uh, screw, in, screw in tungsten weights. So we have other videos on how to do this. So you can check us out on YouTube to uh, go check that out and see how to do it. But you're going to want the cone facing up. And what's going to happen, these are our brand new hooks right here. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to pull these out and show you how to do them here. And uh, let me pull one out here. Give me just a second here, folks. Okay. Now we designed these here with a longer shank on the top and that nice flat longer bottom. So why do we do this? Number one is this can allow you to get for bigger uh, bass, you know, to hook right up into the lip. And uh, so how does this work? You know, typically I'll take, you know, whatever bait, I just happen to have this one sitting up here. Uh, you're going to take this hook and put it down in here right towards the top at a little angle. Run it down and push until you get to the top. Okay? So it's almost even. Now... You don't need to go all the way up to the top, but when you get close, you know, to where the line is, or, the, or or in this case, the bend, it starts going around. Go ahead and pop that out through the side. Now you see that? It's just sitting there. Now, another reason, you see this space here between where the hook is and the top of this bait is, right underneath this finger. I'm going to pinch right there. And this hook. Now, you have about this much space on most baits on their hooks. Their shanks are so small, you can't even push the bait up on here. If it does, it bunches up and then you become a, having a big problem where you got a big old uh, glob of bait up there and you're not going to have good presentation. So now what I do is I run this on up here. And then when you get up to this bend, bend part, just stop right there. And then what I do, act like you're waving at somebody. And then turn your wrist around you know you know face yourself hey all right so palm face me grab that bait the hook grab the hook and then you're gonna twist you're gonna twist that palm like high-fiving somebody okay palm towards me push twist that wrist now look my hands right there high-five now because of our long our long shank on the top you have another advantage. Look how nice that bait is. It's not all squished up here on the very top like every other hook. We're not about every other thing. We're about being us and quality stuff. We want to have things because as professional anglers, uh, bait shop owners, uh, fishing on the pro circuit, you know, we want you guys to have all the advantages above everybody else. So this is huge. Now you have this great presentation. Now for the new people, what I do, you can take and stick this hook right, stick the hook on your thumbnail. Let me turn this over. Okay, hook on the thumbnail. Take your index finger and pinch. And then, move, then you can move it. Now, where my two fingers are pinched, that's, if I bring that back, that hook is again right on my thumbnail. Okay, let's do that again. And if you can see where you guys can see, I'm going to move that out of the way. So, what I'm saying is it sits right there. Okay? Right on the thumbnail. Index finger pinch. Now, once you got there, you're just going to take and hook that bait straight up in there. Now, what you have is a nice presentation. Bait straight up. I'm doing it a few times. One more time. Now, I've been doing this a long time, but for the new people... You, know, you guys always, you, your number one question is, why does my my bait always, you know, buckle up? Number two, it buckles up because you don't have the long shank on the top. You're not using this hook. 
You can order these online. We just come out with this. It's going to eliminate a lot of problems. Number two, again, for the, for the people that are new, st stick it on your thumb and then pinch it and lift up and put it in. And then you see it's nice and straight. Now me, I, I've done this, ha had to be probably hundreds of thousands of times, if not a million. I can look at it and I know right where to pinch it. Grab it, pinch it, and you see how it's nice and straight? Now if I was to use my thumb, that's where it would be. And you have that great presentation. So next thing is, well how is a bass, you know, when you hook it, how does it work? So what's going to happen is when you go to set that hook up and drive that hook, this is what's going to happen right here. Watch what happens, folks. Boom. That hooks, that bait slides over and you're going to hook it. Now, after you've released that fish, all you do is pull the bait down. And you can do a couple things if you're using our baits, which you all should because we have top quality plastic. Boom. I'm going back because I've done this so many times and just hook it on there again. Sometimes your bait may come out this way and be sitting here like that. That's okay. When you drive that hook up in there, you know, it's just going to depend on how you're setting the hook. So, um, but that's how a Texas rig is. That's how you set the hook uh, for, for bobber stoppers and how to do tungsten weights or bullet weights and all that. Check out our other videos, folks, and uh, our, 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 our how-to videos on how to do things. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, order online, gethookmagicbaits.com, and uh, we have a 1,000-plus fishing supplies, everything you need. Check out our clothing line to stay comfortable out on the water for men and women. Uh, shoes, shirts, hats, coats, casual wear, sportswear, swimsuits, all kinds of stuff coming. Uh, being a top angler um, as far as a, a charter and an angler uh, just traveling around and having fun and uh, uh, showing people uh, on, on not just here but wherever I travel to uh, different techniques, you know, is what I'm about. And doing uh, fishing events for the kids, it's what I'm about. That's what I like and that's why I share these videos to you guys. I'm here for you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you, guys. Less Xboxes, more tackle boxes. And don't forget, it's not about the baits. It's about the magic.